what is up? How we doing? How we doing this evening? What's up, Joseph Johnson? What's going on? How we doing, guys? How are we doing? Is that the hell behind me? What's good, Seth? What's popping? Seth Hamilton. My main man. I am feeling better, thank you. A lot better. Still still kind of effed up, but definitely for last night was rough. What up, Dritch? What's going on? Yeah, I got a good night's sleep, which really helped. Um Yeah. So, but I appreciate you asking, man. Thank you. Got a good group here. What up? What up? Boxing matchups with D Free. What up, D Free? What's popping? I'd be seeing you on um Clarence's stream, right, D? Are you ready for fight? It depends. Who's fighting next week? I don't remember. Oh, it's um Zoo and uh, Fondora. I'm telling you guys, I got Fondora taking it. There he is. The champ is here. Boom, 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 boom. The champ is here. Boom, 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 boom. The champ is here. I'm gassing his head up. But, hey, man, he deserves it. I got some good questions, too, by the way. I loaded up. Got a bunch of current questions for you guys. Old questions. It's pop pop a and cracking. Steph Brizown. That's a nice mustache, my man. What's popping? How you doing, Steph? Is it Stefan or Steven? Which one? Bro, there's a lot of boxing events next week. Well, what do we got? Besides Fondora and Homeboy, Zoo, what do we got? What do we got besides that? I don't know. I don't know. Then we got... The 20th of April, right? That's, um, what's the 20th of April? 20th is a good one. I forgot what the 20th is. Something I want to say. Oh, Haney and Garcia. Duh. Stefan, thanks for asking. Step fan. Step fan? Okay, that just confused me. Stefan. Yeah, can't be Steven. Stefan, I'm assuming. Oh, whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm more excited for Haney Garcia. I'm going to be up in that piece, most likely. I'll be there. It's literally a 10 minute walk from my house, the Barclays. So I'll be there. Um, the one next weekend I'm excited for. I think Fandora is going to take that. Uh, I guess it'll be an upset, I guess, but it shouldn't be, should it? It's just because one's undefeated, one isn't. Yeah, maybe it should be. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, they say Paul got hurt in training camp. Oh, so they're going to postpone it or cancel it? I didn't hear that. <clears throat> See, I still have a headache, though. That's Is that true, guys? Tyson Paul is going to be postponed? I'll be there, too. Oh, word? Stefan, where are you, where are you, uh, where are you from, my man? Well, parts of the tri-state, because I'm assuming you're, you're in the tri-state to come there. Could be New York City, but definitely the tri-state, because anything past the tri-state's probably a little bit more of a trek for somebody to come down to. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I got some good questions for you guys. Some good ones, a whole bunch of good ones for the champion chips. So Tyson and Jake Paul are really postponed. Or, well, they say he got hurt, but they didn't make an announcement on the date, right? And what kind of injury is it? That matters. You know what I'm saying? Like Keith Thurman, he snapped his bicep tendon. That's a that's a problem. That's a, I don't know how long it takes, but I'm going to guess three to four months, at least after the surgery and all that for it to heal. So what is what Jake Paul injure? His vagina. You get what I'm going with that. You get which direction I'm going with that. Nah, Jake Paul's actually a good fighter. Um, for his experience level. Not for, like, the earth. 
but for like his experience level. <laughs> Chu versus Van Dora, Nicholas Waters versus Andrano. Don't know who, don't know who any of those people are, except Tyson versus Van Dora. I know, and I got the channel here. You guys tune into it. I don't know. Like I, I've said this before, man. I have a radar, right? And now while I'm trying, my radar is 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 upper middle class fighters and above. I catch on the radar. The middle class and the lower class and the lower middle, I don't really catch them. Because it changed. Oh, here's why. Not because I'm a snob. Maybe I'm a snob a little bit. But because it changes so quickly. Once you get to upper middle level, you know that that's a player for life. All these guys coming up and then they get knocked off. And like, I don't need to pay attention to all that when it's not going to go anywhere. Valdez versus Zerto. Okay. I heard of them. I heard of Valdez and Zerto, obviously. L. Harvey. What up? Yeah, guys, please hit the like button. It helps distribute the show amongst the algorithm as efficiently as possible. How's your day? My day is not bad. Not bad at all. I'm feeling way better than last night. Jake has decent right hand, but other than that, any decent black and white class eats them for breakfast, depending on their experience level. I tell you guys, one of the most important things in boxing is experience levels. That is one of the most important things. If you're dealing, if two fighters are fighting and there are separate experience levels, that makes all the difference in the world. Somebody way more talented can with 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 no experience usually won't beat somebody way less talented with way more experience. Usually, I'm saying. Now from Dallas, currently SoCal, visiting family in BK to attend fight. That'll be okay. Dope. Good, man. Texas. I love Texas. I've only been to Houston, but I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I'm like Ray Robinson. If you're lucky enough beating in trivia, the rematch will destroy you as Dev Von Brusk. Damn. Stop motion talks mad-ish. That dude. Yo, champ, you think the Saudis will pay Canel? No. No, that is goofiness. No, they'll probably give him way more than he would have gotten otherwise, and he'll probably do it. I don't know. I don't pay attention to like, I don't really pay attention much to, to fighters' pay. The only reason I know a little is because Floyd would always mention it, but I don't think any fighters got anywhere near that. So Canelo will probably get a little over maybe what the most he ever got is, or something where it's like, okay, this is a good amount of money, but not 200 just for him. Come on. Wiling out. Wiling out with this ridiculousness. He starts that, and then we're going to get other people. It's just going to be a whole domino effect. Marco should step in the ring. I'd fight Canelo in a second. I'm not saying I'd win, but I'd fight him in a second. I'd tag him up, too, a little bit. Um, and we're naturally the same size, too. I'm also 20 years older. Almost 20 years older. Oh, no, actually, 15 years older. So that would p pose a problem, and he has way more experience than me. But I would tag him up a little bit. I could definitely hit him. I'm not saying I'd knock him out. I'm not saying I'd beat him, but I would definitely catch him, surprise him. That's a whole different story. Tag him in his, in his cinnamon beard. Bop, bop. Ha, ha, ha. Bop, 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 bop. Sleepy time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still, I'm still active every day boxing, so I don't different. Then there's the difference between hitting bags and sparring. And then there's also a difference between hitting bags here and there and doing it at home and doing it. At, I go to a gym sometimes, mostly I do it at home. There's a difference between that and just going to the gym all the time, right? Then there's a difference between just going to the gym to going to the gym and sparring a little bit. Then there's a difference between going to the gym and sparring a little bit to going to the gym and sparring all the time to prepare for a fight. Those are whole different kind of conditioning uh, sets and where your you know where your body's at. So, uh, what you guys think? Yeah, man, I've noticed Friday and Saturday nights here not very good. People are uh, partying. Like we're not gonna see Mamoon. He's fourteen. Actually, we might see him. I was gonna say he's probably out, but at fourteen, you know, really or fifteen, you don't really go out that much. Um. So yeah. 
But we're going to do these. We'll do these championships as long as everybody's enough people in here. New York, not far from Maryland. No. What is it? Five, six hours? It's like five, six hour drive, right? Champ, we need you to, as a backup fighter, just in case Mungia don't fight. He's fighting him. He's fighting him. He is not missing that payday for nothing. Or those those belts. All three belts. No, excuse me. Not all three. All four belts. And the biggest payday of his life. He's not missing out. How come you think Canelo didn't ask for more for more price all these years? I mean, I'm sure they've reached out to him a few times for a fight. And it's been a no-go. You just go fight Jaime. Well, Steph, for the obvious reason, which is he is ducking Benavidez like it's a drive-by. That's why. Yeah, agreed. He doesn't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight him. You know, simple. What a smoke. Oh, wait, that's no smoke, right? Ah, but not this kind of smoke. No smoke like nobody wants smoke in the ring. Salute to you too, my mans. My mans. Yeah, um, yeah uh, Benavidez said this too, and it's true. It's like, oh, so I don't offer, bring anything to the table, yet you're demanding a record amount of money to fight me. So that's kind of a contradiction right there. To me, I say this before, those of you have heard me say it, but the biggest thing, the biggest statement that stood out in what Canelo said was not the money, was not not bringing anything to the table, was the 25 pounds. To me, that said it all. Because Canelo is naturally probably only 160. But his skill and his power have allowed him to compete competitively, dominantly at 68. But he's really 160 naturally. He's only like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, and he knows that Benavidez is naturally probably 175, but he's making 168. And he sees how Canelo's performed. And he sees the eight inch height difference or whatever it is. So to him, it's the size. That's what he's ducking. You feel me? What a Larry. What's crack a lacking? Larry. You ever watch Impractical Jokers? Uh, anyway, is a disgrace to boxing. What? Why? Wait, what happened? Because he, last I heard, last I know, anyway, he's knocking everybody out. He's arguably one of the pound for pound best and one of the most feared guys in, in the in, in the sport. Why is he now suddenly a disgrace? Explain, please, Mr. Trivia Champion. I don't know what the hell you talking about. What's he talking about, guys? Anyway, you know, disgrace. Anyway, he's a gem. Uh, holding the belt hostage. Yeah? Yep. Yep. Well, see, here's another thing. I'm going to get to the rest of these. He's not holding the belt hostage. Like, I think we got to stop saying that. It's not up to him for him to get stripped. It is the sanctioning bodies who, because they make so much money from his sanctioning fees, they don't strip him. So they're the disgrace. They're holding the belt hostage, not Canelo. Yeah, Canelo could definitely say, I relinquish the belt, but no guy, it's not up to him. So, yeah, it's up to the sanctioning bodies. No, that's who needs to strip him, not him on his own. Chasing legacy. Yeah, I don't get it. What's the problem? You can't stand them? Why? You know, like explosive knockouts? It's because you like MMA. Uh huh. I got Davis winning against. Yes, I got Davis. I don't know, actually. Decision? I don't know if it'd be decision. And I don't know if I got Davis actually winning. If I had to choose, yeah, I'm going with Tank, but close. Maybe more of a knockout. Tank is a disgrace. Why? Because he doesn't fight any of the four horsemen? Gotta be trolling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When When is Tank unifying? He's not. Robert Davis. What up? Devin by decision. I don't know, man. I could see it, but I could also see Devin getting stopped. Bro, I love Japanese boxing, just not anyway. Why? The WBC definitely holds the one. Yeah. Oh, all of them. Because <clears throat> it's all four belts, right? We got four belts there that are um, not stripping them. Four sanctioning bodies. So it's all of them. 
Tank, what's up, Haney? What's up, Robert? Nobody else, nobody in this era beats Tank. You might have a point. But we're not seeing it because none of them are fighting each other. Tank avoiding Haney all these years for a reason. Same reason he's been. Maybe he could be avoiding them. I don't think Tank's doing it consciously, pur purposely. I think maybe his advisors and people are pushing him like, oh, just one more. Oh, do this, do that. Because you think Tank's scared? I don't think he's scared. You saw him spar Haney. He didn't look scared. My bad. Abdul Wahid by a landslide decision. I don't think he goes by Abdul Wahid. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think he goes by that. Uh, I know he changed his name officially, but we haven't heard one thing. His IG hasn't been changed to Abdul Wahid, nothing. His name is still Chavante Davis. Tank not avoiding Haney. His, it's his advice, advisors. Advisors or his coach or promoter or his manager. Coaches even. There's a lot of people that could be in his ear. And there's a lot of people in the ears of these guys. You know, happens a lot. Happens a lot. Advisors, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Spence, a warrior, forced the fight. Tank, not doing that. Yeah. Uh, maybe he wishes he didn't force it, but yeah. Yeah, because Crawford, but here's an example to show. If you look at Spence and Crawford, right, and you're, and I don't take this, this stance because I don't think fighters are scared, but if you look at the two of them, who would you think was scared between the two? Which guy was way more of a diva with negotiations, was literally walking away if he didn't get everything he wanted, was being a little unrealistic. It was Crawford. He was being unrealistic. He was being hard. He wasn't giving. He wanted ever, you know. <clears throat> and and he was the one who clearly wasn't scared because he won so easily. So just because people – my point is just because certain people want to avoid certain fights or not do it unless they get what they want doesn't mean they're scared. just means they have whatever in them. That does that, but it's not fear. Sometimes maybe it is, but, you know. We have a lot of excuses for Tank. It's all a disgrace. I mean, I don't have any excuses for any of them. What up? No smoke. Crawford is nothing nice. No, he's not. Spence was hiding behind Al Heyman. I've never even heard Al Heyman speak. I don't know what his voice sounds like. I barely ever. I don't think I've ever seen any video footage of him. I've just seen a couple of still pictures. They won 3% of Canelo's purse, not Benavidez, Apple's bowling balls. Apple's and bowling balls. They won 3% of Canelo's purse. What? I don't get it. None of them are scared. Yeah, nobody's scared. But stop motion tank hiding behind Al now. I mean, nobody's hiding, man. They're just... They, it, like, the fact that we've been talking about this, right? We should be sitting here breaking down styles and yo when they fought this happened and oh and they're signed to fight this is good instead we're talking about why they don't want to fight each other that's what we're talking about. we talk about practice not a game we're talking about negotiations not a fight we're talking about negotiations what are we doing but that's not our fault we're being forced to talk about it because nobody's fighting Talking about call Al Heyman, but I thought you were your own boss. Yeah, exactly. Tank don't hide. Yeah, he doesn't hide. I'm tired of speculating. Exactly. It's what do we do? But we we can go back and forth, and we could say, oh, the the truth is, unless unless you're sitting there listening to every word of conversations that these guys have with each other, and their promoters and their advisors and their lawyers negotiating contracts. Unless we heard everything and then we hear, well, what does the lawyer who's negotiating go back and tell the manager? And then the manager goes back and tells Tank. So it's three degrees of separation and things get lost in translation. It's so easy when you have so – that's why Spence and Crawford, boom, they just called each other or Spence. Crawford was on the same kind of crap Tank was on, you know, and Canelo's on now. He was. But he clearly proved he's not scared, you know, clearly. So that's my point. We should take something out of that. Like, not, not everybody who avoids fights is scared. Send the offer, period. Well, that's not that easy, though, Larry, because the offer gets sent, but then you get, I'm not taking it, or no, meet these demands. It's, it's The offer doesn't, 
it go it needs to go way past an offer being sent but that's the right way to start it off yeah you you, you kick it off with an offer obviously mayweather brainwashed the whole this whole upcoming era of fighters he's brainwashed with this crappy ass mentality that's why we're dealing with what i call the a-side b-side diva behavior abd the abd behavior and I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I blame Floyd for it. It's all about money. If people fought each other more times, what up, Isaiah? Then boxing would be top. Yeah, you may be right. And and if there was, if it wasn't so, there's no structure. People like structure. People like I said this yesterday, right? People like knowing the NBA games, 80, NBA season, 82 games. They go home. They go. They go away. There's conferences. They they play each other in the conference. There's playoffs. They got this mid-season playoff now, which is stupid. But there's playoffs. There's conference finals, finals. There's championship. It's a structure. Everybody, why do you think people like Starbucks? It's reliable, right? You go somewhere and you you know what you're going to get. You, you look forward in it. You bask in the comfort of knowing what you're going to get and in, and getting uh, getting amped up for it, getting excited for it, and, and doing it. Same thing. Boxing doesn't have that at all. It's a wild west. And that's why I think it's not one of the top sports. That was a long explanation, but, you know, you think Crawford will actually move up? He would fight Canelo, yes, definitely. I don't think his, Canelo wants to fight him, but he would absolutely do it. Nobody's scared. Yep, that's a fact. ABD. Yep, ABD swag. That's right. It's ABD swag. The ABD energy. After this era, I think we get back to the... I hope so. Light skin. What's popping? What is popping? I would never sign with Floyd if I had the opportunity. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. He can open up... A, he is one of the main reasons Tanks is, is so popular now. Of course, it's Tanks' skill and who he is. His aura. He has that Mike Tyson kind of energy thing going on. But Floyd's huge part of it i don't think tank would be as big as he definitely wouldn't be as big he might even be nowhere as big if it wasn't for floyd so i wouldn't say that how come my left wrist gets injured easier than my right even though my form and connection is fine trash game dev um what i could think of off the jump is your left wrist is not used as much your right is used your whole life you're a right hander correct it's used because it's used to writing, throwing baseballs, eating, whatever you use it for, shaking hands. Your left is still uh, a little tender, a little tender biatch of, of a hand. But as you use it, it'll toughen up. So that's probably why. Genetics. No, not genetics. Sanctioning bodies function like a business. Yep. Word to mother. I'm going to have to sing sing off tonight. Oh, you're, you're signing off? All right, man. Well. No championship for you. What up, Johnny Mac? San Crawford held negotiation, held up negotiations is nonsense. We weren't there. We don't know. Well, we do know after that Crawford made it difficult. He wanted this. He wouldn't, you know, everything had to be flip a court, everything. He admitted that. Errol said it. So we do know that. So I think he was the one who was making it difficult. I don't know if he held it up. But it seemed like he was making it difficult based on what was admitted by him and by Errol afterwards. I don't go by hearsay, he's hear, hearsay but I go what comes out of the actual participants' mouths. So I think he it, it makes sense. We don't know for sure. You're right. But it makes sense based on what we know about, about Bud. And, you know, anyway, Floyd is, uh, is about money. I Hot take, maybe not a popular take. I really think Floyd has money problems. One – the fights he takes to me, he t he says he makes money so many ways. Why are you fighting Logan Paul, who did very well? I wouldn't say he had a, he almost beat him, but he was hit, hit you know he hit Floyd a couple times, held him the whole time. Like it, it, it just it 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 ruined. It was it was a goofy. It was a it was a mockery of your legacy fight. Like the fights that Floyd's taking now, Floyd had known a f confirmed problems with with the IRS. Right. And when you don't pay the IRS, like I remember confirmed that like this isn't hearsay, like he had to give most of his check, one of his fights. I forget which one it was to the IRS. The reason why I know people say, oh, he's just maybe he's just bad with taxes. He forgets. No, when you you don't want to owe the IRS money, 
Because forget about it, you risk going to jail, but you pay such high penalties. And when you're owing millions of penalties, it adds up. And that's not pocket change. When you're owing million, you're owing ten million to the IRS, and that's millions of penalties. There's no way Floyd just forgot because you know, and the, with that amount of penalties, there's no way. I think he he has money problems. Maybe at best scenario, he's cash poor and he has stuff tied up. But from what I hear, his lifestyle is so so expensive. He lives such a crazy lifestyle, spends so much money, all because he wants to be flashy and show off. And, you know, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know him, but the vibe I'm getting from people that do know him from what I see, the dude is all about showing off. You know, you see his Instagram posts, he's always showing off. And it's so, he always like puts a, lays out a million dollars and looks off into the sunset like he's just being introspective. Nobody sits with a million dollars on their effing dinner table fanned out and then looks into the sunset and acts like he doesn't know the camera's there and acts like he didn't say, okay, I'm going to turn to the left, look into the sunset, go. But come on, we're not stupid. So he's all, so I think he has money problems. I do just because of the fights he's taking and all the stuff that goes on and the life he lives would, 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 you know, he just, he doesn't slow his life down. Shit. Right now, I got inflation hitting my business bad. Like we're we're slowing down. You gotta sometimes you gotta just conform. You gotta adjust. You know what I'm saying? You got you gotta evolve with the times. I never seen a fan base protective fighter like Canelo. I'm saying Buzz is too small. Yeah, they love Canelo, man. That's true. Leonard Ellaby is a cancer. I don't know much about him, but I don't hear good things. Floyd overhead is coinciding with his. Now, yeah, exactly. And he doesn't adjust his overhead. That's exactly right. Now, again, we don't know, but you could piece together, take little pieces of evidence, and you could make an educated guess. And that's my educated guess. I don't know for sure, obviously. And I only care because, like, I think he's ruining boxing a little with these goofy fights that he's taken. He's, like, making a mockery of it. And his posts are, like, in your face. Like, yeah, I don't even follow him. They just pop up. I'm just like, ugh. Actually, maybe I do follow him. Maybe if I unfollow him. But I, I mean, whatever. I don't care that much. Flash can flash cash on Instagram at 50. Very exactly. Exactly. Like he needs to grow up. Yep. And look, if he wasn't having money problems, fine. I'm just think it's awful because it seems like it's hurting him. That's why it's judgeable. That's his brand. Yeah, it is his brand. You could still have that brand and not actually spend all that money. You know what I'm saying? You could look like... And by the way, his brand of what, Isaiah? He's not fighting anymore. That was all a ploy, part of his genius, his marketing, genius marketing, may I add, I'm not shitting on him, to while he was fighting, to sell his fights. He's not fighting anymore. What, maybe his exhibitions? That's why he's still trying to do this? I don't know. I hope Devin unifies with Matias. Yep. Matias is allowed to jump in as one of the four kings. I'll give him... Credence to be one of the, the four uh, horsemen. I mean, he could be the fifth horseman, maybe a fifth pony. Let the Inuit tank talk. When the Inuit tank talks, we're brewing. Tank's too, uh, anyway, too small. Tank fa- fans said, let's see it. Inuit got up, but Canelo fans, yeah. Well, I don't know, man, I, I think. And by the way, what's up, Casanova? I think Inuit's too small. He just moved up to 22. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't think Tank can make 26. Even though Tank's short, he's very stocky. Thick core, thick legs. You know, he's just a big dude. Bigger dude. Canelo fan, fans be blocking fights better than the Cowboys. Jake Pauly wearing headgear, though. Clearly, he's not going to wear headgear. I don't believe that. There's no way. I think it'll be the exact same rules as Roy versus Mike. I don't think there'll be headgear. There's no way. Boxing has always accepted his celebrity, the celebrity matchups. It's a disgrace in my opinion, but we we can, but we let this go on. Paul Brothers on YouTube. I don't mind Paul Brothers fighting each other, fighting KSI, but when you start putting him in with like fights, come on. Mamoon, I'm just talking about you. You're here. What's up? I don't think he has money problems. He is a narcissist who loves the spotlight. Well, that's a fact, the narcissist part, which is why he never gives any other fighter credit. Like when he said, Hey, bro, did you see money? Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he has money problems. Well, this really isn't even an argument, right? Because when you owe the IRS money, 
and you can't pay it and collect a bunch of penalties and have to wait till you get your next paycheck to pay it, that's, am I wrong here? That's the definition of having money problems. So, or, or am I missing something? You broke your finger. With the ladies? Yeah, that was a finger bang joke. I'm sorry. Bad. Bad joke. My bad. Well, hope your finger's better, my man. That sucks. What's up with the trivia? We're going to do them. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You're going to... You ever participated, Steph? He's small, but people would want to see it. See in your way go up and pound for pound. People would want... I'm not saying they don't want to see it, Casanova. I'm saying that it won't happen because he's way too small. He might go up and do it, but Tank wouldn't... I don't think, like at thirty, I don't think Tank would even go to thirty for it. So if he went up to thirty-five, maybe. But Tank would might even be on that that same Canelo and and um, Canelo thing where he's like, no, he's too small. It's a real risky because I should destroy him if I do. People just say you should have destroyed him. If I lose, I lost to a smaller guy. The IRS robbed Joe Lewis. Well, they didn't rob Joe. I think Joe just didn't pay his taxes he didn't know he thought that a lot of the fighting that he did i think for the army the exhibitions he did in the army he thought that those were not claimable and then they were but think of it this way you're still and he might have got robbed i don't know like back then i know people like times were way more racist and, and the government like i mean they should have just they should have just pardoned him been like i right, fine because he was bringing so much money and attention to the government but but Think of it this way. You should always be able to pay your taxes because unless you're overspending, because that's money that, you know, your taxes are a portion of your paycheck, not all of it. Well, that's actually not true. Sometimes they put you in a high tax bracket and there's a lot of taxes and, you know, so yeah, I take that last statement back. You shouldn't be always able to pay it. I ain't going to do the trivia. I barely can type. Okay. Did you see the video? With, no. What video, man? What was it? I think Tank would oblige too because he has so many advantages. That's a good point, Casanova. He does like taking those those stacked up to his advantage fights. How you watch boxing, I mean, how you can watch both fighters at the same time so you can easily break down the fight because I tend to focus on one fighter when watching a boxing fight. Hey, Diniz. Hey, Diniz. Uh, what's up, Hayden? Is how do you you just do it, man? I tend to watch folks on one too, but you're still absorbing everything. If you're new to boxing, to watching, just keep doing it, and you'll pick it up. Like any muscle in your body, you'll train your eyes and your brain. You'll pick it up. You'll be able to catch both and 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 be able to see what you're looking for. First timer for trivia, but I remember when you started going live during the daytime. That was when I came about. BF speaks highly. Oh, my man, BF. Yo, BF. TB is ruthless when you piss him off he is funny i'm not pissing him off that's my man though i like him dirty jersey in the house i like doing some jersey but appreciate you stuff thank you yeah bf's a good dude good dude that's the thing bf and drew i'm sure you know who that is they have, they might get a bad rap or maybe not a bad rap a rap for snapping but they don't look for problems they just respond to people who come and start talking crap to them they just respond way more vicious. Like talk, like, you know what I'm saying? They might be jaywalking, but they're throwing dudes in prison and torturing them for life and then putting them in the electric chair just for jaywalking. But the person jaywalked, that was their choice to jaywalk. So they get whatever consequence comes. The Brown Bomber Joe Lewis actually supported the US military with most of his money earned. Yeah, so that is messed up that they did that to him. Floyd looked jealous of AJ. Oh, I want to see it. I don't know what you're talking about. Put the link in here in the chat if, if it's a, a video I can see. I'll look at it right now. I'll pull it up so we can all watch it. I don't know if I'll get flagged doing that. I don't know how this works. I, I've never in my lives used any other um, footage of anybody else or anything, so I don't know. So we'll, we'll do the championship in about five minutes. I don't want to stay, stay on too long today. Maybe five, ten minutes we'll do the championships. Depend how we're cooking here. Guys... Did you hit the, the thumbs up? Remember, this is my house, right? But I'm a gracious host. 
I, I love having you guys over. You guys are a great company. But before you come over, you know, the door shut, it's locked. You got to ring the doorbell, right? You don't just bust the door down like savages. You got to ring the doorbell. And the doorbell, there's no doorbell to press, but there is a thumbs up button to press. So please ring the doorbell and let's continue. Um, okay, I'm waiting on more, more messages here. Stop you. Yeah, stops in here. Stop motion MMA. The current champion of boxing trivia. And I, I got to say, starting to turn out to be one of the most dominant champions in, in boxing trivia, Marco boxing trivia history. Pretty dominant. They say Zapata lost. Okay. Well, I don't really... I don't even know who this is paid. I know Williams is paid. I don't know this dude. Can it be more modern or at least 80s current? I'm tired of answering Jack Johnson. <laughs> okay, I'll keep it. I'll keep it uh, 80s and above. I'll try. I mean, I, I'll keep it 80s and above. Okay, just for you. But, you know, if you're a real boxing fan, Casanova, you got to get your boxing history up. I don't ask hard questions, but, you know, the questions are like, who's the first black heavyweight champion? Like stuff like that. Jack Johnson was good. Chris, Crick, Chris Esparon. Christos Esparon. Que paso? Where's your wrench? I give wrenches to those who super chat. Did you super chat? All right. Let me look at this. Wait, can I? You know what? It won't let me. Damn it. Hold on. It won't let me um copy and paste it through StreamYard. Let me go to my YouTube. My YouTube. All right, here we go. Let me turn off the volume. All right, here we go. All right, boom. I'm going to pull it up. Let's see. Now, how do I screen share this? Is this screen share? No, it's not. No. Oh, add item. No. How do I do this? I don't know how to do it. New no, this new layout. Present. Here we go. Share screen. Here we go. All right. Tell me if you guys can see this. All right, let me get this out. Let me get this out. Why can't I hear it? Oh, here saying it with the thousands of true school sports subscribers. What's going what on, it? guys? Now, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Reese uh, what? That wasn't it. I don't want to see that crap. I don't want to see that crap. What the hell was that? Jack Johnson. Actually French. Esperon. Yeah, I don't know what you gave me stop motion. That was some dude talking. Was that you? I don't even know who that was. I don't even know who that was. I can see it. Mr. Glue Baby, what's up? Yeah, what was that? I thought you were showing me Floyd get jealous. You said you showed me some dude talking about it. What's your favorite basketball team? What you think, Seth? Take a guess where I'm from. Take a wild guess. Well, actually, it's not that. There's some. Take a guess, though. C consider my age, where I'm from. Who do you think? I just got back into ball. I was a hardcore basketball fan, and then I, I stopped watching for like 15 years. And my dad passed not too long ago. Me and him used to – that was like our bond a little bit. When My dad wasn't around much, but when he was around, um, as a child, he wasn't around much, but – our bond was basketball, so I, I stopped watching it. But now he just passed, and I feel like partially to connect with him again. I started watching it again. Mayweather was at a meet and greet with AJ. People were happier. Do you have an actual video of it? Or it's just somebody talking about it? Globetrotters. <laughs> you got jokes, Casanova. Fucking Globetrotters. Bingo, champion. Bingo. Bingo. Uh, AJ people were happier seeing AJ. Oh, and Floyd got jealous about it. Usamein Sila. Oh, Us. What's up, Us? What's 
What's going on, my man? Yeah, I don't do Clubhouse anymore, but what's up? All right, here we go. Let's try this one again. This is actually it. All right, let's see. Let me try and share this mother lover. Better not be some effing dude talking. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Right, you guys see this? I didn't turn the sound on. Hey, Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer Floyd Mayweather met his match in popularity when he came into Olympic gold medalist, two-time unified heavyweight oh. world champion, British superstar boxer Anthony Joshua, and they was taking pictures and all the fan. Yeah, okay. I've seen that. Uh, stop. It's old. That's not current, and I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were they in England, though? Because, yeah, I've seen that. How long you trained with Kevin Rooney? I lived with Kevin, trained with him for two years. Well, that's on and off a little more, but when I moved up to Catskill, it was two straight years living up in Catskill, New York, in Kevin's house with Hassem Rachman and Vinny Pazienza and all that. That was, that was 92 and 93. Got to provide some comedy relief in the chat. Yeah, yeah, you did it. <clears throat> nah, not the biggest fan of Floyd. Yep, I'm with you. I got to respect that he's one of the greatest who ever did it, but all love, brother, fathering, you know how, yeah, I do know those vibes. Thank you, man. Please, guys, hit the like button, thumbs up. Facilios Pizza was, was popping. Great content. Thank you, my man. I appreciate you. Yeah, my, my videos, those of you who don't know, I'm sure you all know, my, my little shorts, my reels are getting like millions of views. So that's what kind of springboarded me. Um. And those are fun. I like making those. So when you do something, you when you do something you love and people love it, that's when you you're good. This was all when fans were giving AJ attention. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. This was old though. Yep, my team is the Knicks. Straight up and down, like six o'clock. Which hater made the video? That's um Blue Blood. I don't know if you know who he is. That's that's Blue Blood. I don't like Floyd either, but damn, this is just weird to make a video about it. He does content like that's the one different thing. Like I do content, but I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't talk about non-boxing related things that have to do with actually throwing hands in the ring. You know, every now and then if somebody will go to jail or whatever, some big news, I'll, I'll talk about it. But I'm not going to make a video about that stuff. Nothing wrong with people who do, but at all. Because, you know, those guys are more like – they're like reporters. They, they cover all forms of boxing like like, like a top-notch news, news channel. I'm more just – breaking down fights and fighters and sticking to like the sweet science. That's kind of what I enjoy doing. So I don't really do stuff like that. Um, but blue blood's one of the best. Here's back AJ and Floyd. Yep. Against the ropes with DOS Dawes. Sup Dawes? Blue blood. Yeah. Blue blood's my man though. Oh, my man for real. Fortunately, Lewis's generosity towards financially supporting our military led him to bankrupt and his former opponent. Schmeling actually helped. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad what happened. And then he ended up developing, because of getting the punches he took later in life, but he developed, he, first he started getting uh, like paranoid schizophrenia, and then he started, I forgot what he died of exactly, but he was in bad shape. And he was too, like he was in his 60s, and he was like, you know, he aged like he was in his 90s. Poor Joe. BT of her Southpaw debate would go crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't mess with Southpaw. Um, BTF is my man, though. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, B B B BTFB is a uh, he's he's he's, he's he, it's hard to beat him in a debate. Haven't you haven't you seen you on Blue Chat? Yeah, I've been doing um the Boxing Voice a lot. They've been having me co-host, so I've been doing that. And Blue, last I saw, I went in briefly. He has a whole his own thing. I don't think he's even bringing people in. He's he has he has a girl now. A side who's mad cool, and he has some girl that he brought in. So I think they're doing their trifecta there. So I don't even know if there'd be, be room for me. Is Iron Mike in year two? Is Iron Mike in my two? What's that mean? Is my top two? I don't get the question. Vasilios, top five? No, he's not. Well, prime I. 
this is a different one. Prime Iron Mike, I think, beats anybody. But his prime lasted so short. Like, he was out of his prime at the age of 25. So, so that's – he was so young. He peaked so early, and I think he just mentally – so I have to consider his whole career. Like, with Roy, I consider prime Roy only. I don't consider when he's 35, 36 and start getting knocked out. But Mike peaked so early, you almost can't ignore – when he started fighting out of his prime, because he was still so young out of his prime, technically. Yeah, I think Ryan's okay. I think he's okay, from what I'm seeing. He's having some episodes, but overall, I think he's good. Yeah, Karma Serene. Her name's Karma Serene. Who is she? Is she a fight fan? Of, who is she? I don't know who she is. I just saw it, like, once. I ju- jumped in. I saw him, like, talking about how he's been... This is the new thing. And I don't know. I just caught a bit of it. I don't know who she is, though. I stopped watching Blue Blood after the Bud BLK Prime debacle. That was weird to me considering I always thought he was a heavy Spence fan. But, okay, so, but why? Like, why would that make you stop watching somebody? Do you felt like, let's say he was a big Spence fan, then he decides to go into business with Bud. Is that, why would that make you stop watching? It's just business. Or what am I missing? Triple G stops Roy Okay, I'm going to ignore that. Stop likes messing with me. Silly, silly goofiness stop talks about. Um, we're going to do the, the the championships in a little bit, but let's do a little more, a little more uh, chat. Let's see what's popping here. We've got 20, 25 people is not bad for a Saturday, I must say. Randall, Randall, you do not agree with what Stop Motion just said. Because if you do... You're drunk. You're both drinking, probably together. Watch one Blue Blood videos. His style is boring. I mean, I guess. I don't know. It's, I think he's, I trust his news though. Like I'll say Blue Blood is really good with news. Like when he, because he's so, well, so is Ness, but Blue Blood is so dialed in, like has his ear to the streets and has all these contacts. When he says something, it's like, you know, he's very good with the news. He's very accurate with the news. You know, good guy too, man. Really good guy. Bradley, what up? It's good to hear from a boxer, from a boxer, a former boxer talking. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you. Thank you. Yo, daddy. I hate alcohol. Okay. That's random. Tourette's. Cheese whiz. Stop motion. I agree with you about a person changing their mind as far as blue blood sport is concerned. So you agree that you would do the same thing. You would, you would... So right now, if I one day came on and started hating a certain fighter that I never hated, you guys would just stop messing with me? And drugs. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Jay Pity, what up? Jay Pity City. Yo, champ, actually two months sober as of today. Dope. Good for you, my man. I don't know how bad of a problem it was. And was it alcohol or was it drugs? But either way, good for you. Whatever helps you better yourself as a, as a human being, whatever, where you can show your discipline. Because, man, me being a fighter, like, my discipline's always been on point. Boxing really, like, if you could, if you got the discipline for boxing, training, fighting, whatever, anything else in life is easy. Well, that's not true. You got some psychos who, who fighters or fighters who like had drug problems. So it's not totally true, but it helps. It gives you tools to have discipline throughout your life easier. That's a better way to put it. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. But why, why not want to like mess with somebody just because, I don't know. I'm just curious where you like whether the mind frame. Blue blood makeup stuff, I call him on it. Okay. Blue blood running down every fighter stat all the way his favorite color to all the way to his favorite color. <laughs> where he's like, so and so, 48 arm reach, superstar box. Yeah. I like that though. That's that's um that's his style, man. He, I mean, he's a walking encyclopedia for remembering dudes' arm reaches. Like, that's impressive. Jay Pity, what up? You have the right to like who you want to like. Yeah. Salute to that. I, I despise Inoue Canelo, Ryan Garcia. I don't get the Inoue at all. Like, what has he done? But I get the... So I, a lot of people don't like Canelo or Ryan. Actually, no. Now Canelo's being a little because of the Benavides, but people like Canelo. What's not to like? He fought everybody in his era. One of the greatest fighters in history and t- top pound pound fighter in this generation for quite a while. Blue blood is something against Derek James. Just pay attention. Did, yeah. I don't know. I don't, 
I also, guys, I tend to tune out stuff like that, or I'll change the channel. I just want, I'll, you know, because I don't get into the whole like anything that's not about boxing, like actually boxing in the ring. I don't really mess with. And Derek's my man. Like I'm cool with Derek. I've had a bunch of interviews with him, although he doesn't want to do them anymore for now. So that's kind of annoying. But um, one year, three months sober. That's how you know he's, he's telling the truth because it's like, it's like down to the month. GGG. Okay. I'm ignoring this silliness. Appreciate you, champ. Marco, why does that guy have a wrench? He always saying something silly. Because he's joking, champion. He's joking. He's messing with me. It's our little banter. He doesn't mean it. How? Yeah, why do you despise anyway? He beat Fulton. Ah. You're not from Philly. From Baltimore. What do you care? He served Fulton. <laughs> I, everybody thought Fulton was going to beat him. All the Americans. It was an American thing. It was like a weird American bias. And I was like, from what I saw of anyway, I'm like, I think anyway's going to beat him. They're like, nah, you don't know. Fulton's going to box him. He's, he's nice. I'm like, he could fight, but this is a different. And I was right. And I'm all, I'm not always right. I'm not trying to be arrogant, but because I'm not always right at all. And I don't care. If, if you, some people lose their minds. If they call a fight right, they go crazy. They get mad. Like, yeah, I told you. I told And some people get so mad. Like, they don't want to admit it if they call it wrong. Like, I don't care about calling a fight because we're just guessing. Anything can happen in boxing. It's cool when you get it right. Don't get me wrong. It feels good. But, like, people need to, like, chill. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't like him before that. Canelo's fought everyone. Yeah, literally. Except in a feat. <laughs> I tried warning Fulton wasn't going to be in any way. No one wanted to. Yep. Hey, they didn't want to hear it. American fans were like, nope. He only won because he's Japanese. It was on Japanese soil. Really? The Japanese soil went through his leg like 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 Street Fighter. Like, and boom! And made him crack him. Nope. That was the energy from the earth. Love in UA. The one guy I've seen rise along with Arthur and yep. Philly and Maryland mad close. Okay. I mean, I don't root, root for Jersey, and that's right across the pond. Inouye is nice. Yeah, he's no joke. Raymond Ford stops Inouye. Yeah, okay. He does not. Hey, Raymond Ford barely got, was lucky to get that fight. Like, he was going to lose that other fight just now. The only reason he won is because Homeboy turned his back. Right? Because if he just would have taken a knee, it was, I think, five seconds left. If he would have taken a knee, and you can't be saved in the last round, by the way. Once the referees start counting, the fight's over because you can't be saved in the last round. I mean, you can be saved. Uh, the Belk saved you only in the last round. Excuse me. So even if he took, even if he fell, if he just would have fallen, the fight would have been over. And if he would have taken a knee, the fight would have been uh, over in terms of he would have won the decision. It would have gone, the bell would have rang. So he barely won that fight. So I'm not, no disrespect to all fighters. You know, I, I respect all of them. He could fight, but he he, he didn't look that good. So... That's not an argument for him beating anyway, in my opinion. It was a great fight, mad fun, mad heart and all that, but not an argument for him beating the number one guy in the division. When the hell is a, is cool boy? When Where the hell is cool boy these days? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a great question. Nah, when that fight was announced, Nao was going to fry him, but Steven's a hell of a fighter. He will come back. Yeah, I think he will come back. I agree. I gave Fulton no chance in that fight. Anyway, special. Agreed. What are your thoughts on Keith Thurman? Meaning, is he? He seems like he's having repeated injuries, so it's not looking good for him. And people now, look, injuries heal. Like I think the bicep thing was freak. It's the first time. I don't think it's a reoccurring, you know. But when you're so prone to injuries, a lot of fighters now and promoters won't want to sign with you because they're going to worry about it happening again. So he might be done, not by his choice. He might only be able to come back and fight some unknown guys, and he just might walk away from it because he's a risk now. He's a liability. Roley's still my sleeper. Roley could fight. He's awkward and he hits hard. That's a recipe to upset anybody. I wouldn't, you know, but I wouldn't choose him But to win, but he could. Raymond Ford, really? That's what I'm saying. Carmel Moten beats in your way right now. Okay. Yo, stop. You better stop trolling. We keep this a troll-free zone here. 
That's all I got for today. Stay blessed. Peace out, that dude. What's better to live, Vegas or California? Cali, I guess. Who you got in Louis Alberto? Who you got in the Louis Alberto versus Ford? I don't even know what you're talking about. Spence Thurman is only fight to make at this point, but Spence knows Thurman beats him too. I don't know about that. A, a healthy a, fo- a healthy Spence, not you know fighting at 100. percent I don't know. That'd be a good fight. S- stop it. I'm a huge Donaire fan. I was devastated when he lost to the, yeah. Yeah, Donaire's my man, too. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. i dead serious. I don't know. Well, that's ridiculousness you're talking about. Who do you think would win? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about either fighter. At that time, no one in their low and quit was hitting harder than Donaire. Yeah, Donaire was one of the hardest punchers. Hardest punching, lighter weight dudes of all time. Yep, agreed. Can you say Spence doesn't want a rematch with... Well, yeah, of course he doesn't. He did, but he officially pulled out of that rematch. So this isn't even a, a debate if he doesn't want the rematch. He literally decided not to take it. That's the actual definition of not wanting a rematch. What's up, Des? Are you Filipino? I love Filipino. You don't look Filipino. You look like half Filipino. But maybe it's just the, I can't see the picture too clearly. Um, yeah, man, I love Filipinos. I grew up here in NYC, man. Filipinos were mad cool. Those And the family gatherings are literally, you got hundreds of people. Like, they roll deep with family, the Filipinos. No joke. We're going to be continuing this prime. That, I don't know. Maybe it does. Yeah, half. See, I'm good at that kind of stuff. Other half is Cracker, right? Or maybe not, actually. I can't tell. You know who's half Filipino? No. You know whose grandmother is Filipino? Which, I don't know if he's half, but I know this is his grandmother. Is uh, Rob Schneider. You know the actor in all the Adam Sandler movies from Saturday Night Live back in the day? He's at least a quarter Filipino, if not half. Spence gets in there with Bud again. They might have to catch. Yeah, it won't be good. Josh Gallimore, what's up? Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I seen Donaire versus Vic one. Yeah, that was a dope fight. Jay Pitty, what, are you in? Are you from CT, Connecticut? Yes, Donaire is definitely a Hall of Famer. Absolutely, absolutely. He's also the only champ, the only champion in history. This could have been a a trivia question to win to be champion in the past. I think it's the nineties. The 2000s, oh no, the 2000s, the 90s, 2000s, no, the 2000s, 2010s, 2020s. He's the only champion, the only guy to be champion in the last three decades straight. Javante Tank Davis, word up. Wow, I didn't know, that's crazy. You didn't know, oh, you're talking about Rob Schneider? What up, Josh? Prime Pac-Man scorched, scorched anyway. Nah. Prime Pac-Man was already fighting well above Inoue's weight. When in when Pac-Man was Inoue's weight early in his career, I think Inoue would beat him. Inoue's smaller, so it, it it wouldn't be a legacy. What's cracker lacking? Javante KO's dev- he might. I would have to lean towards that, but I, I but I'm not like a I'm I'm balanced. So like. I, if you made me choose, it's those are hard choices. I couldn't really choose. But if you made me, I'm leaning with Tank over everybody. But like 60-40. Close. But I agree. Waterbury. I'm, I might move to Connecticut. I just need to know what towns are good. We're looking into it now. I think I'm done with the city life. AZ. I went to college in AZ. I was on the University of Arizona boxing team for two and a half years. No, actually, only on the team for a year. And then the college boxing was very, it was like whack. It was like frat boy, like frat boys. And it, it, it wasn't even amateur. It was like one step below. So then I went back to being an amateur after I, I like slapped up everybody on the team. And in and, and the college uh, collegiate boxing, it was, but yeah, they, 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 um, I was uh, recruited to be on the Arizona boxing team, but this was in 97. So it was before internet was really like what, so 
I didn't know how whack college boxing was or how I shouldn't say whack, just unexperienced. It's, 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 it's like I said, a, a level even below amateurs. So if I would have known, I probably wouldn't have gone there. Why do y'all respect any way you disrespect American fighters? How? what you do? I'm late, but I think if we're judging Tank versus Devin, we need to look at Devin White versus Loma Regis. Yeah, you can't really compare Regis with Tank. But I get what you're saying. Pacquiao would cook in UA 126. Nah, I don't think so. What do you think Tank Davis? Well, when I interviewed, I forget who it was, either Calvin or Kenny, they both, they said that Tank, the, the, the heaviest that they think he'll go to is 47. So, okay, I'll tell you a few Walcotts and the Milf. Those are the bad ones or the good ones? I never even heard of Southington. I had uh, 15 amateur fights. I won 12, lost three. Two of those losses I did not deserve to have. Um, I got robbed. Although I blame myself because I should have made it more clear. Like I should have made it no question, but I did win, but I got robbed one. One fight I did lose. It was in the finals of the Adirondack Golden Gloves. So I ended up only coming in second place. Got the bronze medal, not the gold medal, and the Golden Gloves. Or the silver, I should say. Good ones. Okay. I'm thinking like Bethel or uh, Stanford, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to be too far from the city because I got a business here. Tank never going to welterweight. Well, that's not what his coaches told me, but you could be right. Devin coming in at 165 when he, I know. Crazy, right? Angry skips. What punch do you always get caught? Me, I I was very defensively sound, man. I didn't really get caught with many punches. Do you regularly go live? Yeah, I go every night. You got introduced to your channel by your great selection of, of Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, I go live almost every night around anywhere between 9 and 11 Eastern. Um, and I don't know if you've seen, I have a bunch of videos, like I interview every name you could think of, and I got a bunch of boxing content videos where I, I break down fights. So I, I do box, I interview fighters, people in boxing, and I do, I break down, I do a lot of breakdown videos, analyzing fights and stuff. Um, and then I, yeah, and then you go, I do the live. Please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would have respected Devin more if he had ran it back with Lomachenko. Good point. That's a good point, Randall. Good point. Nice. Good to know. You'll be having me weak. I slapped up everybody on the team. <laughs> I did. Like, easy. And I'm not, it's not even like I'm so dope. I was so, so good. I was good, but it's, it's just I'm fighting less experienced dudes. And like, I never got off on, on whooping up on like, in essence, toddlers. They could barely defend themselves. They don't know what they're doing. So I just moved on. Went back to amateur. Oh, in Greenwich. That's where the million. Yeah, I'm not going to Greenwich then. Not yet. We got to get this channel big enough and then I'll go to Greenwich and I'll take you out to we'll go have drinks with my millions in Greenwich. Facts, Randall. Those are facts. Hood Rich, what up? Whoever's saying. Frank going to win. I bet you think they, yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody thinks Frank's going to win. I, you know, like there is more of a chance of Jesus coming down and moonwalking over, over, over a lake and then just oh, going back up. Nah, it, it, he has a chance because it's boxing, but not much of a chance. Bridgeport, Waterbury, Haverford, New Haven, all cities you do not want to live in. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to screenshot that. Shit's ghetto, huh? Okay. Good. All right. Cool. Good to know. Thanks, Jay. Hood Rich. I don't see anyone 140 beating Tank. No bias. Just agreed. Agreed. I give Devin and Shakur and Tio a chance. And I give them all an equal chance because they're all different. Shakur will, will sit there and firefight with them and, and possibly catch them and maybe hurt him. He's the only one who could hurt him. Um, that this is the chance he would have. Devin could just outbox him, do what he did against Regis, you know, come in, exchange a little, and just stay on the outside. And then Shakur can do what he did with Dolores Santos. Just stay on the outside. It'd be really hard for, for Tank to catch Shakur, and Shakur will just pop, pop, hit him with some of those jabs, and 
you know, that's that. Randall. I don't know what was funny. Something I said. I don't remember what I said. Woodrich, they know Frank ain't got a chance against Tank. Yeah, of course. When will Tank fight at 140 is a question. Maybe him and Shakur could fight now. And then the winner goes up and fights Haney. And then the, the loser fights Tio. And then the winner of those two fight each other. And there we go. There's our, there's our tournament. Marco, I must say you're terribly mistaken about Frank Martin. S- since Frank Martin believes he could be Tank or does he? You, I must say you're terribly mistaken since Frank Martin believes he could be Tank. Or does he really? That's like, okay, I see what you're doing here. Um, I don't know. I don't think he believes it. He didn't even want to fight. Uh, who did he pull out from fighting? Shakur. It's Tank, just he knows there'll be a lot more money, so it's worth it. Was good, Jimmy. Uh, you know what, guys? I got to get out of here soon. So let's do another five more minutes. We'll, we'll do these championships. For all those of you new in here, I do the Marco Boxing Trivia Championships. Uh, I ask questions. You give the answers in the chat. I ask a question. You have 10 seconds to put it in the chat. Obviously, you could Google it. It's not a, It's not that much time to Google. That's why it's 10 seconds. But we, you guys are boxing fans. You guys don't like do to juice. You don't like cheaters. So don't Google it. But 10 seconds, answer the question. Whoever gets three questions right first takes the belt. We have our defending four-time champion in here tonight, Stop Motion MMA. Whoever can beat Stop Motion, that's like that's like that's like dethroning a pound for pound titleist right now because he's up there. Bro, Shakur shouldn't be moving to 140 no time soon. Guys, it's only five pounds. It's a five. Five. The average body, literally the average human body fluctuates throughout throughout one day only throughout 24 hours the average body fluctuates five pounds that's nothing i don't want to hear that excuse about weight divisions i know it sounds like jarring like what's a different weight class i get how it sounds but then you got to look a little deeper it's five effing pounds even the weight class is at seven pounds is not a big difference now when you go from light heavyweight to heavy okay that's different It won't be hard for Tank to catch Shakur Dev at all. In my opinion, Shakur isn't faster than than Tank and to uh, slip his jab. Maybe you're right. So I don't want to read all that because I'm tired, but the, the viewers can read it. Tank has very underrated defense and boxing IQ. They think he's like a wilder. He only lands one punch and... And Wilder, too, by the way, it wasn't just one lucky punch. Like, he set that up. He, Wilder was very explosive. That's why he was able to land that. It wasn't just closing his eyes and getting lucky and landing. He should create a legacy at 135 first. That's a difference. There's no legacy if you don't beat your contemporaries, your, if you don't beat your your uh, generational talent co- contemporaries. There's no legacy. He gets There is no legacy if he beats somebody we never heard of at 135 to win another belt as opposed to beating Tank or Devin at 140. So I disagree with that. Timing can beat speed. Yep, some might even argue timing is speed, or vice versa. Those five pounds make a difference with Devin. They did. But what I was saying was anybody, it won't it won't let people fight, not fight each other. That's what I'm saying. But you're, you know, you have a point. It did make a difference. Well, not really. The only difference it made was Devin looked like he hit harder. So, but it looked, those were flash knockdowns. There were punches that Regis didn't see. So it could have not been that he's stronger at five. Because because really, it, historically, it doesn't make a difference with almost anybody. Let's say it did with Devin. Let's say you're right. That's rare. That's my point. If you have the IQ. Yep. I bet someone that Tank and Dev and Shakura don't go past... So you think Tank's going to knock everybody out? That's what you're saying? Tank has speed and timing, by the way. He does. Big shout to my man, Steph Brown, who I'm about to wrench up for this. Um, um, anybody who super chats gets instantly wrenched up. 
boom, you're wrenched up. Big shout. Appreciate you throwing that five spot on me. Much Lizov. Smooth sailing tonight. I always appreciate your insight. Salute. Stop motion MMA. Be well, Marco. My man. Steph Brown. Stefan Brown. He can do that later, or should he rack up the title defenses? Nah. You need to fight. You create a legacy when you beat all the four horsemen. You don't create a legacy when you beat one of the four horsemen or none of them and just dominate a division. Because remember, and this is, I'm very steadfast with this. I don't care about belts. I care about who you got, who you beat to get the belt. Usually, usually the best fighters have the belts. That's why how that usually plays out. But the word is usually, not always. So to me, when you argue about who's a better fighter and you try and come at me with, he was undisputed. Who'd he beat? Who'd he beat? Roley shouldn't be champion. He's a champion right now. Need I say more? Got a little more correct. In my opinion, Devin is a natural 147 pounder. He looks even, he's tall, but he's young. At 23, you're naturally thinner. So he's not natural anything yet. He's still building in. But yeah, I think he's going to be 47, probably. Maybe even 54, naturally. Haha, <laughs> pronounced it correctly for show, mate. Good stuff tonight. All right. Mate, you're not British, are you? Thank you. Appreciate you. Tank for T.O. would be a fair scrap, but T.O. is going to sleep. Possibly. You ain't have to shoot at Roly. <laughs> nah, I like Roly. I've, I've messaged with him. He's kind of, well, he's a mix of cool with me, but kind of like douchey. It's like a mix. <clears throat> but it's just the fact. Roly should not be champion. One, because he shouldn't have fought for a title. Him versus Barroso shouldn't have been for the title. Two, Barroso beat him, should have beat him. So there's that. there's two layers why he shouldn't be champion, but he is. So that's my point. Feel me? I don't call them four kings. I call them four horsemen, John Mack. Peace out, Seth. All right. You guys ready to do this? Uh, you guys ready to do this uh, championship? Hit me with a ready in the chat. We're going to start these Marco Boxing Trivia Champion Chips. Hit me with a ready. Let me see a couple readies and we'll get this on and popping. On and popping. Hit me with a ready. Something about Seth tapping out always reminds me to do it. All right. Ready, ready. Lomachenko tank. All right. Here we go. Here we go, kids. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. What medal... Did Alexander Alexander Usyk win in the 2012 Olympic Games? Which medal did he capture? Go. 10 seconds. Usyk, which medal did he capture? 7 seconds. 5, 4, 3, boom. All right. And as usual, trolling ass, stop motion, got it. So we're starting off. Now, for those of you who are new, Stop has won the last, I think, four in a row. All right, so one point for Stop. One point for Stop. All right. Good stuff. All right. We're going to do the next one. I'm going to try and keep it current for you guys. All right. Uh... Okay, here we go. At what age did current undisputed champion Devin Haney, at what age, or not current, former, did he turn professional? What age did Devin Haney turn professional? Go. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, we got it. First one to answer is Josh. Josh, beat you out there. Stop. Okay, we might have an upset. Josh, one. Stop motion, one. 
The answer, of course, is 17. In Canada. Or, excuse me, in Mexico, not Canada. All right. Here we go. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to accept either the pound, the limit in pounds, or the name of the division. But what weight division did superstar Canelo Alvarez turn pro at? What weight division did Canelo fight at when he turned very first turned pro? Go. 10 seconds. Canelo's weight division when he first turned pro. Where did he campaign at? Where did he campaign at? Oh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, stop, got it. It is 140. Welter was incorrect. It was 140. Okay. Just like that, he needs one win to retain his belts. And he has all of them. He's undisputed. He has all of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go a little harder. Okay? I'm going to go a little harder. Because we can't just hand him the title again. Right? Right? We can't just hand him the title. Uh, okay. Okay. This one's hard. I'll do it. All right, here we go. Which champion in boxing history, what was the name of the champion in boxing history who had the most amount of knockouts slash TKOs at 139 for his whole career. The most career knockouts or TKOs in history. Go. The most career knockouts in history. What was the name of the fighter who had the most career knockouts in history at 139? It's five seconds. Four. Three. Two, one, nobody got it. The name, his name is Billy Bird. His name is Billy Bird, unknown. That's why I knew nobody would get this one. Um, and if somebody got it, I would think you guys are cheating. So big up. Yeah, see, Steph Brown Googled it. See, that's how you know you Google it. That's, I didn't even know that. I thought it was somebody else. I don't want to say who I thought it was because that'll be another question. Who had the second most knockouts? All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. Here we go. I, I will take... Oh, no, no. Let me do something else. Okay. What was... What was the, what was the nickname? What was the nickname... Of former heavyweight champion Larry Holmes. What was his nickname? Go. 10 seconds. Larry Holmes nickname. 8 seconds. Seven. Larry Holmes nickname. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And. We have. Retaining his belt, once again, we have stop motion MMA. This one was, this wasn't a first round knockout like you had. This was more of a, I guess, mid round stoppage, I would say. Mid to late round stoppage. So just so you guys know, stop motion here has won the last stop. What is it? Five in a row? Is it five in a row? And yesterday, nobody got one right at all over him. Dude, it's fast. What kind of computer you want? You have like a chip in your brain? So you're just thinking and just... Poof. Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. He might be using AI. He's doing something. Four in a row. Oof. Four in a row. Four in a row champion. The titles. He's snatching up. Defending it, just def repeatedly, successfully defending his belts. Coming with Tyson, just no robe, just has both draped over the side, one on his here, and just walking through with all the belts, just defending them. Man, this dude. 
only been watching boxing for two years. Okay, let's not start bragging now on some arrogant. Um, that's impressive, though, if you've only been watching boxing two years. That's really impressive. <laughs> You're using a phone? Damn, really? It's impressive. That is impressive. God, I keep forgetting where he's from. Oh, Maryland, right. Right, right, right. If you're beaten, if you've been watching for two years, you definitely was using a computer for those questions. No hate, though. Good game. <laughs> uh, you're unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's wild. All right, guys. I'm going to bounce out of here. That was fun. I'll catch you guys again tomorrow night. And let's see him defend his belt once again. Um, yeah, you got, you got a lot of knowledge in your brain. But yeah, man, I appreciate you guys for joining. Please hit that like button on the way out. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.